Okay, I'd like to point out, last time I opened the game, they took this option away. I wasn't allowed to... Cr I wasn't allowed to continue last time. Okay. Let's see where it continues. So, for anyone that wasn't here for our first playthrough, it went about as good as you would expect. <laughs> so, uh, it did not go very well at all. Hopefully... Hopefully we'll be better about it this time through. We kind of know some stuff. But I don't know. I don't trust. Oh, yeah. Nah. This is our old playthrough. Okay. Main menu. We don't want that's a that's a bit of a I would say spoiler, but you'll see the VOD at some point. It's okay. All right. I'm going to set us up real quick before just in case she comes back let me go put away some of the garbage that's on my desk and then we'll just get going Dear God, it's so hot in this fucking office. Alright, this is going to be interesting, because sometimes when I, while I like to emote, it's going to be a little bit harder with this setup, because I'm not looking at my computer. Alright, new story. Your previous checkpoints will be replaced. The story will be updated as you play. I mean, that's fine. I guess there's no real way for us to do it other than that. By the way, I didn't really say this. Hope everybody's having a fan uh, phenomenal night. I was going to say fantastical, but that's not it's not good enough. I hope it's better. Cuz I know I'm having a great day. Here we go. It is the Connor, the first one. All right, here we go. Hello, detective. It is me, Connor, the, for the first time, though. I am here to save your fish. There we go. That way, if Bob walks in, she knows we saved the fish. This is for you, Bob. Alright, oh look at this, a family man. What could he be doing? Oh wait, that's right, no it's not him, it's his, it's his android, that's right. I mean, you, I. <laughs> why aren't you sending a real person? Oh, let me turn up the volume a bit. Okay, if it gets too loud, let me know. I'll leave it there for now. But also, can we talk about this? Like, how fucked up would you be to think that your daughter needs a per like you know a negotiator to get a someone to take her and not kill her, right? And you see a robot? Oh my god! I'd be like, who sent this robot? Is this an Apple device? If this is an Apple device, no. I don't trust it. Not saying Android would be any better, but I just don't think a I don't think a company has my interests in mind. What's going on here, Johnson? My name is Connor. I'm the Android sent by Cyberlife. How do you got it, Tux? It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. 
All right, Deviant's name. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Deactivation code. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we, we definitely tried. didn't ask about that before. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. 48% is not great. Also, oh, it's going to suck. We're going to have to save Hank. And, like, Hank's going to have such a time, like, living. He's going to be so mad at us if we don't. I fucked that up. Wait, no, stop it. There we go. Oh, yes, the MS-853 Blackhawk. A wonderful weapon. Use an Android phone? No, see, I don't think I would. Like, at this point, this is kind of like if you sent an Android phone to do it, though. Think about it. It's literally, it literally not only is he an Android, but just, like, you know, instead of, like, Sam Smaznug, you know, you could have, like, uh, you know, it's just Cyberlife instead. So, like, imagine if you don't like Cyberlife, and you see this happening. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely wouldn't be trusting a damn thing. Also, oh man, the real question is, what do we do about the gun? The negotiator's going in. No, the negotiator is not going in. Who are you? Okay, we got. What is this? A sniper? What do you got? Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's. Let's get everything in the back first before we move forward, because that oh, forward over there is where they're at. All right, what do we got? But they're harder to hack. Uh, you know what? If that's true, then I would at least trust it more than the contemporary or the pre Contemporary? You know, if if it's harder to hack, I'd at least trust that. But I don't know if that's true or not. I, I can't say I'm knowledgeable about hacking. But also, you kind of hope that with how much money Apple has, that it would be harder to hack. <laughs> like, you would hope that, right? Ah, yes! Ice Nine Kills! One of my favorite bands! What do we got over here, huh? Bit of evidence in the hallway! A clean bathroom. These perps make me sick! Uh oh. Okay, what else do we have? What else do we have? Hostages room search. Examine the victim. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gotta. All right, let's go examine the victim. Looks like he has one heck of a nosebleed. Not really, because a lot of high phones are being hacked. Yikes. Kind of scary to think about. All right. Wait. Oh, shit. What's his name? John? Damn it. They killed John Phillips. How could they do this to him? He was a loving father. All right. Let's go ahead and reconstruct the shooting here. If only we could just, like, do this in real life, he'd be fine. Father was holding something. Oh, no. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Ah. What, what am I, what am I looking for? Oh, is it this? Okay. Let's go see what that is.
let's go ahead and do that. Whoa. Oh, the Deviant was gonna be replaced. Well, replaced, like what, what makes you think that they won't just have like a second robot? These people seem pretty opulent. He's a cop killer now, yikes. Well, buddy, you had some options until this exact moment. We're watching the whole thing on the TV? Yikes. Maybe the wife shot him. True. I didn't even think, like, you know what? It's one of those things I would like to be like, maybe, but I, like, you know, she was hysterical. It'd be funny if he, if she, like, it was just a real murder case and the android was being, like, framed. The family was about to have dinner. Not dinner. That's the most dramatic of all the meals. Also, Furious, what's up? And yeah, deja vu for sure, for sure. It's almost like we just did this. But yeah, no, Vex won, so we're doing this again at request to get a better ending. And uh, I, I get it. I get it. Also, I know the gun's under the table. I have to leave that. I have to leave the gun. Or I gotta lie to him, but I don't want to risk it because he'll be like, do you have a gun? And if I'm like, yeah, then he doesn't like that. But like, if I say no, then if I had to guess anything, he's gonna be like, you're lying. All right, show me what happened. Oh my God, wait, are we really? Oh, okay, it's another, it's another officer. Yeah, okay, that's right, that's right. The Deviant. I remember this, okay. Hostage witnessed the shooting. Cop shot the Deviant. Yep. And then his ass got absolutely flattened because it's a, an android. I don't really know what he was expecting there. Gun. Alright, we are not picking up the gun this time. Actually, we'll inspect it, but we won't take it. Mmm, delicious. Blue raspberry. Oh, shit. Okay. We're getting a lot of information from this. All right, hang on, hang on. No. Reach for this. All right, put the gun back. Now we got to get one of those casings on the floor. It's something. Why did we turn around like that? That was so weird. Also, Furious, did you just nut on that dead cop? Oh my God, it's him. Right, is that it? 74% chance of success. What could we do better? Is there like, is there more? We checked the whole place. I mean, I guess maybe getting the gun, but no. Nah. Also, we didn't wait for him to start shooting. Maybe that's like something that only happens if you take the gun. Ow. Stay back. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. What? Me? I'd never. Oh, okay. I just had to be sure. Go, go, go. I know you wouldn't lie to me. My controller just said go, go, go. I love the PlayStation stuff. This has been the craziest Hi, thing, Daniel. being able to experience a lot of PlayStation it. stuff now after know. not because, oh my God, I see what people like PlayStation so much. Like if Xbox this. had speakers in the controllers like the Wii did, ah, oh, shit's crazy. I know 
you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I hope to God I'm doing good. That, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. Is her vocal? Did she was she sounding glitchy to anyone else? I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. I mean, it's kind of under control. There. I did what you wanted. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you everything will be fine. Come on, baby. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Uh It's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing Let's go. Let's go, baby. Okay. I trust you. Hostage secure, baby. No! What the fuck? What the fuck did you do? No! Daniel! We promised him! I didn't know! You lied to me. The hang shot fucks me up. What the fuck? Wait, the trigger, the PS controllers even sell you because in some games their triggers resist you. Oh, fuck off. That's so good. I love that, but also I like that it's motion controlled. That shit fucked me up whenever we had the first couple of those in this. Okay, we're going to go over the percentages. Oh my gosh, y'all, y'all. Did I, did I textbook that or what? That was some textbook detective work right there. We saved Connor, 100% reassurance, and we did everything except save him, which sucks because I didn't think that they were going to shoot. We, we had the whole thing under control. They even said, just so you guys know, everything's fucking fine, so we're leaving in the traffic. You know, so like, you think that that would have made them fuck off. Ah, uh, anyways, okay. Like, if you're firing a gun in some games, it feels like a trigger for real. That is so good! Oh my god, and I have not played... I can't wait to kick up the PS2. I know it won't be the same, but um, it's the first era of DualShock controllers, so I can't wait to see how it performs as, like, a... I guess you could say, early to mid-2000s console. Also, the only reason we don't do PS2 at the moment is um, I gotta find a way to plug it in. It has, like, the green and blue HDMI, like, analog cables. So I'm trying to get it to run HD out of there, but uh, I gotta find a way to adapt it. And the one that I bought at first broke, so I haven't gotten another one yet. Which, by the way, don't you love it whenever you buy something and it just, like, like comes out of the box just broken? Like, uh, like, you can tell that it's shit 
and you're just even more disappointed that it's not even shit that works. Although, conversely, sometimes things are made really well. Uh, the housing on my current uh, analog upscaler is 3D printed, and so I made, made me think this is going to be dog shit, but it's really good, actually. All right, 58% of people saved the fish. Investigate the father's body. Yeah, we did a lot. Uh, the only thing we didn't do was take the gun, which 45% of people did. It was too much. I told you, it's too much of a liability. He didn't even, by the way, can we talk about this? He didn't even ask if I was armed this time. Oh my God. Wait a minute. That just confirmed my theory then. That means that he only starts shooting when he sees you pick up the gun. Wasted too much time. I'm surprised that we... That, oh, maybe we just didn't waste enough time. But we got through everything, so I'm surprised. I think you can plug it into your PC. No, not the, not the PS2. That's what we got for this. This is plugged into my PC. Um, Basically, I have to convert it to an HDMI signal. Because that's what plugs into my computer. Alright, so... We confronted the Deviant outside... Friendly approach, 89%. Yep, failed to negotiate. Nope. Dismiss helicopter. Okay, so yeah, we really fucked up by not dismissing the helicopter, but that was a misinput our first time through, like, because I, I was still learning the button layout. Okay, so we have lie to the deviant. We lied? I guess I must have accidentally lied. Okay. Um. Get close enough. I'm glad we got close enough. I didn't realize we actually... That probably fucked us up for whenever uh, the fall happened. See, look. Okay, sniper shot deviant got 40%. That's not bad. There's a lot of different ways this could have ended. It looks like five total. And then the other one we got was killing Connor one. And thankfully, Emma was okay in both of these endings. But uh, I can't imagine that's the same way in all of them. It'd be fun if you can just like let him go. You know? Okay, maybe now we'll be, like, tight with Hank. Alright, now we're gonna be Kara. Oh, goodness. Finally. This is the top of the range house hold or, I think. It cooks 10, dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. No, wait, who am I? And handles the kids home. Honey, it looks amazing. This is it's funny. It's always funny whenever you see little chugs like this. It's just the game, I guess. Because, you know, I'm playing this on next-gen hardware. It's a PS4 game. So you wouldn't think that that would happen. But honestly, it's really funny to see... How, that's why I like playing on console, too. There's a lot of different ways that you can... Um, uh, misremember things, right? Like, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly had terrible frame rate, apparently, from time to time. And I just didn't remember until I played it. And yeah, it's it's pretty bad. And I know it's the game itself, because the um, every, the whole same setup works fine for uh, Sunshine. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What you say happened to it again? The car hit. Oh! Oh, it's Biscuits! See, Everyone say hi to Biscuits! Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Bye, Take Biscuits. My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Okay, so for anyone that's in here and knows, uh, should I, should I try to actually kill the dad this time, probably? Clancy Brown, that's Mr. Krabs. Why, though, won't that get Kara killed? I don't know. That's one of the things I was trying to think of. 
it's either gonna get Kara killed or we would it would be like the obvious answer to like get the gun and just kill his ass. And I hate to say it, but we're definitely gonna go to theft this time whenever we end up on the streets. Gonna knock over those cans. I don't know, steal a hammer, kill the cashier, take the money. What happens if you don't save the kid? I'm sure she fucking dies. Bob was gonna be real mad at me if she died, so I bet that. And technically we did get her killed, so Bob was really mad at me for that one. Yay, we're meniscus. Oh look, it is Zoe, yet again. Kind of shows you how small the world is, you know, from time to time, because they're just down the street from each other if this is the same day. And it should be, because the store that we were just in is down the street. I know that we could maybe... Wait, what's that? Alright, let's go see what's up with that real quick. Hello, I am Marcus. Wait. Oh. Oh, it's a... Okay, well... She's beautiful. They both survived the crossing of the traffic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I remember surviving the traffic. I, I survived through a lot of things I feel like I should have fucked up, but I think the main thing... Uh, there's gotta be a way for me to save primarily... Well, everyone that I killed, but primarily Luther, and then... I would like to see where Marcus's story goes if you don't get the police involved. Because, you know, obviously being thrown away turns him into a martyr. Let's see, is there anywhere else? So they just want us to go to the paint store, which is up front, but there's nothing else? We can't go to anywhere else? The real question is, do we go by the protest? I'm thinking, no. You think the more that you fuck with stuff, the more options you have? That wouldn't surprise me, actually. This definitely is a butterfly effect game, like Darian had said before. And so fucking around is completely correlated with finding out. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. You know, being a robot in this case would be at least one thing at work, because, like, as much as you don't really get rights or get to go home, you would at least not be bored, ever. You'd be physically incapable of being bored, and, like, that would be, that would be sick. I would love to not be bored ever again. Oh, 
Oh gosh, my phone went off, but it's Milo sending me stuff for D&D. By the way, so this Saturday, tomorrow, party games, we're going to be doing that for, I don't know, I might go live with some, like, like more close-knit multiplayer games, and if we get a bunch of people into chat, we'll just, uh, branch off into Jackbox and stuff. And then we'll be doing... Oh, shoot. I forgot what it was. Oh, Mario uh, 64 Hide and Seek. So we'll be doing a bunch of stuff tomorrow. We'll probably be alive for like eight hours or so, maybe 12. And then um, Sunday, we got Mario Sunshine. But the following Saturday uh, is going to be... We're going to be playing D&D uh, &D at 10. We're going to be doing the homebrew D&D. &D. And then uh, before then, we'll be doing Supermarket with like... It's like a supermarket simulator, but with friends. It's completely free, and we'll be checking that out. So that'll be interesting. Oh, right, hang on. Protest is that way. I... Wait a minute. This is where the bus ends up, right? Is it here? I can't tell if this is a bus lane. This seems like this is where the Uber is. Oh, there's the bus. When are you going live tomorrow? Let's see. If, if I'm live for 12 hours, 2. And if I'm live for 8 hours, probably... Like, four, five. I'm going to probably try to aim for two. It just depends on how, what time I wake up and everything. I'll probably, uh, well, I'll definitely probably say something in Discord, but for the people that aren't in the Discord, uh, probably just, I don't know. I can't really give you guys notifications that way, but yeah, I mean, I'll either be live super early or it'll be like just, you know, a little bit more towards the afternoon. I like how I said super early. 2 p.m. is not super early, but for me it is. You know, I know that being an android in this case, in the plot, is like an allegory for racism and civil rights. Uh, but like, they literally put them in the back of the bus, though. Come on, guys. I mean, it's on the nose, and I think it's supposed to make you think, but I was just like, damn. They really, they really were very thinly, uh, they were very thinly metaphored with that one. Alright. Let's hit. Alright, let's see. Yeah, no, we didn't go to the protest this time. I, I kind of, 65% of people got harassed. That sucks. PM or AM, usually PM. I don't usually go live in the AM. I'm never awake in the AM unless I'm about to go to bed. It's just, I'm like, I'm a night owl by trade. Uh, let's see. So if, yeah, 3 PM. So like, I would say if I'm not live by three, expect me by like maybe five year time at the latest to start. And I don't have any plans in order for the beginning. I think I'm just going to hit up whoever happens to be home. And then uh, we'll be playing some games for a little bit until we get a full party of people. You coming? Alright, time to go be a slave to drug addict Todd. Two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. And you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. You know you're gonna be in chat on Saturday? Hell yeah! Look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know what it is, I'm really excited to be doing some different stuff, and I love it when we can branch off and do some, I guess you could say community-based things. It's always really fun, especially, oh gosh, the 12-hour stream, I think, is a Patreon exclusive, but we had way too much fun doing party games. I think most of the time we just spent playing Gardic Phone with, a uh, beautiful corpse mode on. <laughs> it was, yeah, I love it, I love it so much. Dishwasher not working, okay, missing components, we're, oh, we're ordering it, okay. All right, well, we ordered a new dishwashing component. Can can we afford that? We're just over here making purchases, and Todd has no idea. I think I'd be mad if it, uh, if Kara was spending my money and I had, like, no idea. Wait a minute. Is there soap or something that I needed? Oh, 
Oh, hang on. They zoomed in on something, but I looked away for a microsecond and I missed it. Okay, so we have trash and then something on the table. Okay, so now we got Maybe. kitchen and coffee table. Depends on what you need. Do I like how the pizza boxes they stay. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know, you know right. This trash can has some crazy volume for what she's putting. She put a whole pizza box in there after all that. Fuck you. No, she didn't. Completely unrealistic. You can't see the you can't see the squareness of the uh, the pizza box. Oh wait, it's L one. Definitely no HOA of his lawns looking like this. Is he a drug dealer too? No, uh, he does drugs. I don't think he deals them. I think he's just an addict. Okay, we observed the bus. I hope that that is what lets us have the choice for that later. And then we got to figure out where the gun is. And I know we got to move upstairs, but... Okay, so we got to go... What is that? Is that outside? I guess we'll see what's outside first. Oh, laundry room. This is definitely going to be where the soap or some shit is. No, nothing? There's also some stuff on the table. Okay, we'll do table and then back here. I don't know if there's a time limit on this. We might just be able to collect everything. Ah, that's what they were doing. They wanted me to clear the table. That way I could just go and put it, I guess, with the rest of the dishes. The phone call sounded like he was dropping off. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I can't believe uh, in the future that the service would ever be any better. I think that no matter how good we get, I think we'll still have dead zones and signal dropping. Can you drop the dishes? Oh, good question. I guess if you fuck that up, maybe. I don't have any more inputs. Basically, if it's not on the screen and I'm not walking around, then I'm not doing it actively. The game's just doing it for me. So, like, I did that little bit with the touchpad, and then that just instigated her washing. So either, like, like for this, I think she'll just never start washing unless I do it. Which is kind of funny. Just let it hang here. So I don't think you can. Dropping off drugs, not his call. Nah, uh... Yes, oh, Bring true. Beer. Never right. mind. Ignore me. Wait, what did bring Todd a beer? Go fuck yourself, Todd, honestly. Oh, wouldn't you know it? There's one beer left. Do you want me to order more for you? Okay, I can't look at the thing. Let's let's not finish the first floor yet. We gotta wait. We gotta check the backyard and activate vacuum cleaner. Activate. I guess it's like a Roomba or something. All right, there's a box over here. Oh, it's a laundry hamper. Okay, so we'll just take the laundry then.
<laughs> that was kind of an uncanny face. Rewash laundry. Oh, because it's just been out here for so long? That's kind of gross. Okay, so we have Alice and two doors to interact with. So yeah, we'll just talk to Alice while we're holding the laundry. It means turn on the vacuum. Yeah, well, so I guess when it says activate, because normally you would just vacuum the house, right? So I guess with that wording that it's going to be like a Roomba or something, and I should stop looking for like a traditional vacuum. <laughs> I like how we're just sitting there. You might catch cold. I could get you a sweater if you want. You like playing out here? Bro, what are God, she's so rude. She just left. And that's it. Okay, so we got the laundry. We're going to rewash it, get the vacuum, and then we still got to go upstairs. Drugs in the laundry detergent, Todd? You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. You literally told me to. I'm, nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You stay the fuck out of my business unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. You know he's a real lovable guy when he grabs uh, someone by the throat immediately, as opposed to being like, hey. She's traumatized, that's fair. But also, like, what a what an unrealistic response to that. Like, I'm grabbing the laundry detergent. It's not my fault you keep your drugs in the laundry detergent, Todd. In the laundry detergent? Hey, where even is the vacuum cleaner? Let's see. Oh, it's in the corner. Hello, little Roomba. I hope to God that's a nail gun and not gunshots I'm hearing in the distance. Hang on, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sure real quick. Okay, that's wild. The second I went to go check, the noise stopped. So I guess we'll not know. Oh wait, unless it's in the game, maybe? And maybe it's not gunshots? I have no idea. I just, I just heard noises that sounded like explosives or gunshots. No, it's definitely not the game.
Okay, hang on. Let me check the let me check the list real quick. It's the game. No, I paused it and it stopped. Wait, wait. Oh, you can hear it too. Hang on, hang on. I'll mute the TV. It is not the game. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna go see if Milo can hear that too. It's the sports? No, I paused the- I, pa I muted the TV. Like, I muted my actual TV. I'm pissed right now, y'all. Out of everything, it was. You want to know what it is? It was fucking fireworks. Bro, it is August 9th. What are you doing with goddamn fireworks right now? It's not even a holiday. Fuck you. I'd like to point out, in Texas, most of the, sh the, most of the year, this is illegal because of, like, how dry it is. And you're just over here fucking around? That's crazy, right? It is, isn't it? Okay. Alright, hang on. Just give me one second to recompose myself because I was like, I was sitting here, it sounded, it was going off with the frequency of two people having a gunfight with pistols. And I was like, it's far enough away to where it's not going to harm me personally, but I was definitely like, what the fuck is going on here? That's crazy. Yeah, you know, it's funny. So they lit a longer one that had like a bunch of crackles in it. And that's the only way I could tell what was going on. Man, rest in peace to the, uh, the veterans that potentially live here. They're probably wondering what the fuck is going on. Okay, well, give me one second. I'm going to do a quick hit and then we'll just be right back.
All right, I'm back. Glad I figured that out, though. That was going to bother the shit out of me if that kept uh, continuing. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Come on, let me go upstairs. There we go. I bet you that's her finding uh, the ad for Alice. Is this the robot sex made part everyone talks about? Uh, no. Uh, it might be the same person. Maybe. I think Kara is the closest person we have to a maid in this story, so probably. No, no, I didn't want to grab that. Stop. He's not nice if uh, I was working for him, I would say fuck him. Yeah, no, for sure. Todd's an actual genuine piece of trash. I don't like him. How did he stand the walls? I mean, so like it, when you edge enough, it kind of becomes like projectile-ish, I guess. That's my only guess. Either that or he had some hella illness where he was just, like, absolutely evacuating from both ends. Probably the alcohol, honestly. And looking at the alcohol bottles, probably that. <laughs> probably just a little too much Jack Daniels. Risk of behavioral disorders. And there's the gun. Now we know where to get it. I hope that there's actually like ammo in there. Because if there's not gonna happen, if there's no ammo in there, then that's completely pointless. All right, so now we just got these two things here on the TV. I mean, I guess. And now to <laughs> another 225. President Warren. Oh, I can't go back. Of a new cyber life plant Oops. At the event, the president again praised cyber life. Okay. Well, I was going to just leave it on hockey, but I guess not. Let all the stank out of this room. Watch it. Yeah, my bad, dickhead. Wait, did it say clean bathroom and clean restroom? Isn't that the same thing? Yeah, clean bathroom and clean restroom. So I guess that one's just the toilet, and I guess one of them actually has a bath in it. Oh yeah, there it is. The alleged bathtub. Drugs might be on the wall. True, I don't really know how messy uh, the, the red little crack rocks he smoke are, but I wouldn't be surprised. I know if you smoke enough Zaza, you'll get 
car left behind, so it could be some shit like that. Which, if that's the case, disgusting. Ew. Okay, is this game really that interesting? My cat, coin, and, like, dog are both in here now. Also, what's going on? Oh, I was not- okay, I was going too fast. The touchpad is like making love. You really gotta do it at the right place. The right place, right uh, right pace, and uh, maybe even a little bit of bribery. All right, I gotta clean your room. I'm gonna tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? All right, so we gotta ventilate and just, oh, we'll just go around here and do all this. Seems you like reading. It seems you like reading. What a creepy thing to say. We got drawings on the wall. I hope dad knows about that or else you are going to be in so much trouble. Okay, so there's a lockbox. I guess we don't have the key. Clean up this shit on the floor, and then we'll open the window. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. <laughs> of course. Your name is Alice, isn't it? That would be the book that you like. I guess that's an escape route now? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? Knowing what I know now? What about your mother? Will she be home maybe... Soon? Oh, oh. <laughs> Knowing what we know now is gonna be like, why did she choose our name? But Would like... You about yourself? What you hey, you're, you're uh... You you're Before likely you dead mother. She'll be home soon, right? Or we'll just non-existent in this case. Or maybe I'm... Like, maybe that's the reason. Maybe I'm supposed to be and that's why. Because like, if your mom says your mom should be home soon or what time's your mom getting home, I'd be pretty messed up by that too. Also, Destiny, thank you for the follow. Alright, alright. There we go, we got the key. Cool. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna learn some shit. Alright, I think we successfully ventilated the room of farts. And now, yep, we can go ahead and open the lockbox. Oh, that's right, because we got the way out. I assume it's a way out. Four leaf clover. Nice. Hold on to that one, kiddo. Mm, okay. I I'm just not... <sighs> That's just so weird knowing what we know now. Because, like, then... Technically, who are these people? <laughs> I guess... I guess Todd's just lost everything, really. Man, Todd looks like Slav Superstar in this. He's got the tracksuit and everything. Human become Detroit? Wait, what? 
<laughs> Look, honestly, considering how my last playthrough was, you really can't have shit in Detroit, no matter the context of it being the real Detroit or this Detroit. Also becoming Detroit, just a, I mean, if they polluted, it basically would be. It'd be like just a bunch of cars, essentially. Uh, okay, so we got to that's right. Ask Todd for new instructions. Unlikely. I am going to snoop. We didn't, oh, we didn't go into the other room. Oh no, we definitely missed that. This definitely had a prompt for us to open before. That sucks. What are you doing? Also, by the way, Darian, how you doing today? Did I say that already? I don't think I did. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life, huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job. Take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! This scene still f sucks every time I see it. Like, that that's so, like, crazy. And this is a reality for some people, and that's heartbreaking. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Kara will remember this. Oh, wow. We did literally everything we can do, I think. Nope, we missed one thing. The one thing we didn't do was piss off Todd. <laughs> Go figure the one thing we didn't do is the one thing I decided not to do because I was like, oh, you know what? We pissed him off last time. Let's just get this done. I like that. That's the one thing we forgot to do was piss off Todd. Wow. She spends way too much time by her dad for being abused. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I'd come out of my room either if that was me. If my room had a lock on it, I'd be testing that boundary every day with how long I could keep that door locked without them knowing. All right, let's take a look around here. We gotta be really careful with uh, Marcus here because we definitely really messed up when the guy's kid came home. Or came home, but came over. What, D just grab him like an ice cream cone? Oh, he's a robot. Wow. You have to go. Alrighty, Alex. See you later. Alright, what else do we got? So, I guess we just gotta go upstairs and get Carl. Oh, we were supposed to go through those big fuck off doors. All right, we will wake up Carl in a minute. He's old. He can sleep in. The North Pole and why Russia wants it. I'm honestly waiting for that to be a, a, a headline in some timeline. Or just anyone. It doesn't even have to be Russia. Just like someone's trying to colonize the North Pole and it'd just be like, you fucking would. 
uh, we're dedicated to seeing if Santa Claus is real, and uh, by golly, we're going to figure this out before the end of the century. I think it's so funny that the boys are hanging out in here. Like, I guess Detroit Become Human is just soothing for animals. That we tried colonizing up there too cold for back then, maybe, but now we have parkas. Pretty ethical way to keep a bird. You know what? I, I don't mind it, but also it's kind of weird how realistic it looks because, you know. But also, you know what it is? It's ethical until you think, oh, it has the desires of a real bird, kind of like the androids do whenever they start becoming sentient. It's like, oh, well, if that's the case, then it's not it's not as ethical. <laughs> or it's about as ethical, maybe even a little weirder. Because you've endowed it with sentience for whatever reason. I like how we can do so much without waking Carl up. Like, I know it's a huge house and everything, and I'm not saying we'd wake him up because we're loud, but like... It's nice, because we're saving time, and then we get to let him, I assume, sleep, even though he's a video game character, and it really doesn't matter. Alright, I don't think there's... Oh, what's through this door here? There's a lot that we can do. Oh my goodness. I was way too A and B objective-oriented. Yes, the smiley face mug. I bet you his son made him that mug. All right, there's no doors over here. We went to the studio. We need to go upstairs to get him, which I want to take the spiral staircase, because that looks fun. And I don't think there's anything else out here. Is there another door? What is that? Is it a window? It's a window, okay. Wait, where's the spiral staircase? Oh, it's behind the giraffe. <laughs> of course. Wait, what kind of... Wait a minute. What? Has nobody addressed this in the history of this game? This is just... It's not just bad design, you can't use it! There's solid wood up there! What if it's one of the exhibits? He is an artist after all. Okay, so we have the room off to the left, and then just all these windows. Okay, so yeah. 
We'll get Carl in just a second. Yeah, there's nothing else for us. I knew it would detect it from far away, but just to be safe because we missed so much the first time through. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes. Hey, it's just the medicine. There's nothing we can check out. Oh, there's a skull. Sick, Carl. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Least favorite way to be woken up. I should have checked the bed first. There's probably a better way to wake him up. Your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. I like how we just pan over the stuff in the room and it's like, you know what's going on. I love the tracking for these little prompts onto people's backs and stuff. It looks really good. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. He really does care about his son. I'm a, I, if I remember correctly, I think Leo is his son. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Find something to do. That's right, we have books. Oh, I'm gonna do piano this time. Because we did books. That wasn't bad. Chess. feel like you can't really play that by yourself. So let's just do... Uh... 
There we go. He did ask for the TV to be on, though, so this might be a bad idea. It bangs if you go really hard. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. Oh, that's such a nice compliment from him. Thank you, Carl. I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you. He is so you wise. Be. Let's go to the studio. You hate that his hands aren't pressing the keys. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was too busy focusing on the fact that the uh, the piece that I picked was really, really good. I actually liked that a lot. And it's also crazy how uh, different it is whenever you like go from slow to fast picking on it. I say picking because I had to just basically tap the controller over and over. Glad you like the carpet, buddy. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Oh shit, he's actually adding new strokes to the painting. Yo, that's sick. Man, games have come a long way in just the years that I've been alive. Like, this kind of shit would never have been possible when I was a kid. Or a teenager. Or a young adult. Maybe young adult, but definitely not a teenager. What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. It definitely is. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. 
The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> These paints are expensive, Carl. I just purchased them for $64. Are you sure? No. See, this is one of the things that sucks. You have to kind of just do this at first. As, you know. Yeah, I guess he has to be like, be expressive about it. Don't be a little bitch. 64 per paint is kind of cheap. We don't know exactly what was in there. It could have been one pigment for all we know. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Identity. Despair. I love that painting. It goes so hard. Hey, Dad. Leo. Okay, so yeah, this is kid. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. You can tell something's while, up right? by the way he talks and acts, like his gestures. You all right? Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> the kittens are coming. <laughs> oh my gosh. Electra Fleur, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my gosh, how are y'all? Hold on. <laughs> I hope I can pause this. Okay, good. I can pause this. Welcome in. Welcome in. How is everybody? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Here, let me give you a shout out. What were you guys doing? Same as me. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Is it your first time playing or like, uh, have you played this before? Because I love this game so much. I have not seen all the endings. I just, I finished one playthrough. I'm on my second one now. There we go. Anyone from my chat, please go give Electra a follow. I would really appreciate the rate. Um, and also thank you for the follow, Electra. I really appreciate that. So it's your first time. Oh my goodness. How far are you? I don't want to spoil anything. You feel like such a... 
<laughs> you feel like a murderer, huh? I uh, I definitely can't say that I share that sentiment. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm being sarcastic, sadly. I I don't know. I don't know what killing anyone would be. <laughs> I don't know what that would feel like. <laughs> okay, well, oh my gosh, so many things to say. I am so sorry that you keep killing everybody. You killed back to back. Okay, I've been through it. I've been through it a single time. Feel free to tell me who it is because I, I already, odds are I might have too. <laughs> or I mean, I wouldn't have because I definitely don't do that. <laughs> not not here. <laughs> no. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. I'm sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. You're at Meet Kamsky. <laughs> yeah, oh my uh, gosh. You take care of your uh, plastic toy here. Yeah! yeah. Wait, when you say killed him, you mean me Kamsky or do you mean Leo? Him. Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? You know what? This thing is Leo. Yeah, okay, I killed Leo too. But he just crumples like paper. It's Leo, not even our fault, enough. really. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. As someone who is an edgy teenager, dear God, if you can avoid saying this to your parents, please do. Most parents love you more than that, and it's just so not worth saying that, because that crushes them. Also, wait, he left? Oh my god, I didn't... No, 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 there's definitely, like, another time he's gonna come in. I was like, there's, there's no way I... Okay, okay, We're, we'll be... We'll be ready. You're becoming Detroit, I see. Don't let Hank die in this... That, that didn't... Didn't happen, okay? We're just gonna pretend it didn't happen. You also killed Alice. Oh, so, wait, okay, hang on. Okay, depending on... So, you got Alice killed. I That means you're at one of two points in the game, and I don't know which. Also begrudgingly me too honestly <laughs> like <laughs> is it is it just her dad did oh you so you okay so then oh my goodness okay oh man i can't wait i i almost feel like i'm gonna have to go watch your playthrough watching somebody else fail as much as me might actually be something i'm super into <laughs> you should not say wait hold on you should not say that to your parents as an edgy adult no you shouldn't Especially if you're an adult. It's a fight at night. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they get back from the party. Yep, I remember. I remember. I wondered, uh... I wonder if you held still if she'd die. True. Carol, you misread it? Probably. I do be probably dyslexic. Well, oh, what should I not? No, Grandy, you just shouldn't. You killed Connor after Ale Alice? Wait, so are you... You're on Connor Mark 2 now, then? Connor, but again? Or 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 are you... I'm trying not to give up any ghosts here, but there's a lot of... I mean, I think that it's pretty bold not to understand that, like, uh... Uh, and like almost anyone can die in this for any reason, so I guess it's not really a spoiler if you end up getting someone killed as long as you don't say how, but. You're playing Connor and Marcus. So, okay, yeah, so did you, so how did you do on the standoff, the very first like case of the game? Did you save uh, the hostage? All right, well, I know who we're looking for already, so we'll just go in and find him. Hello, Lieutenant. It is I, Connor. It appears that your alcoholism has gotten out of hand, and I am here to... Please. For the love of goodness, turn around, Detective. Oh, there we... Wait, wait, wait. I saw it. I saw it. Scan that man's head. Oh, wait, wait, 
Oh yeah, a head from Mr. Krabs. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station. You want to play through you? where I kill Connor at every, every point you can? <laughs> <laughs> I would do it. I want to. I want to know how many. How many you can go through? Because apparently it can get out of hand. Involving a cyber life android. You fuse the hostage. You, yeah, surprisingly. Okay, I'm glad that you managed to save her. That I, I barely saved her the first time. I was not smart. Zero situational awareness from me. And then I a hundred. I got one hundred percent trust after that. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. Test that on your next playthrough. Oh my god. Okay, if you do that, Electra, please. Please. If assuming I assuming I don't catch it live. Dear goodness. You gotta let me know how that goes. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that, Jim? Wonders of technology. Make it a double. <laughs> See that, Jim? The wonders of technology. Bro did the double in one go. I can't trust that. <sighs> you killed the lesbian lovers? You ran out of time? No! Did you say homicide? I, I wanted to let them live, and I, I technically I did. They got away from me, but like, oh my goodness, I, they did not. They almost did not make it out. It was it was a rough situation. <laughs> so just for some lore, this I just got a PS5 recently, and I've never had a PlayStation. So half the times when it prompted me to hit X, I would hit square, thinking it was a, an Xbox controller X. And it has uh, you say. really messed up my first playthrough. I'm, I'm better at it now, but not much better. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. I also can confirm nothing, as we just got here. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. And by that, we mean solve the whole case. We're starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So. You get it, you mashed the wrong uh, letters because you mixed controllers. See, see, you get it then. I'm just glad people get it. Apparently it was, quote, painful and, quote, tough to watch. You know what's funny? Those comments make it sound like it's randoms, but no, my girlfriend and friends were saying that they loved me, right? Yes, a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of alone. You're chaotic unintentionally. Sometimes life is just more fun that way, whether you mean for it to be or not. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I feel like the subconscious just makes up those little itty bitty decisions that uh that have people wind up into uh situations like that. You just you know you don't realize it, but your brain's like, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna slowly make you work towards this, whether you think so or not. Delicious raspberry jam. Put all the evidence in my Probably mouth. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love exactly. slobbering all over the fucking evidence and contaminating the crime scene. Nope. The landlord said the Detective, it appears that I am the one that perpe <laughs> Fuck, hold on. <laughs> Detective, it appears that I am the one perpetuating this crime. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself Bam. Alright. What's in here? It's a closet. Marlboro cigarettes. 
You couldn't trust the man that lived here. He smoked red 100s. Alright, so there's 10 total pieces of evidence. What do we got here? Some more blood from Mr. Ortiz. <laughs> I believe the humans would say, Awuga! Ah, yes, the place that he got the knife from. I need you to... Wait, I need to remind you of this. Oh, God, what's that clip? Hold on, here, I realize something about an anatomy. Oh, right, the both holes. <clears throat> Anyways. You think fuckable androids cost more? Okay, look, we've debated this the first time we played through. It depends on if it's the kind where your hand gets caught in the gears or not. Is this, written in the victim's blood? this is literally contingent. That's entirely contingent on how much, uh, like, you know, the whole situation. Probably. Yeah, I can't imagine there's much clearance considering you fit an entire person's worth of mechanics inside it. If there's no room in our goo for it, what makes you think there's room in their goo for it? Assuming it's goo, it's plastic probably, but still. I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. There's more over here. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. <laughs> Back broke by android sex. I don't think insurance is gonna cover that one, sadly. Quick time events during sex. <laughs> no, no, Grandy, you're right. What would happen is, if there was a way, if it was possible, you know how it would be? It would be, uh, uh... You would have the regular model, and then the Pro or the S edition, like Apple, and that would be the one that, that's got all, like, the extra clearance because they upgraded the hardware. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. I love how grumpy he is. He's just so grumpy. He does not... I know he's been a cop for a while and he's just tired of it. And he probably wants to retire. But like, damn. He really do just be the grumpiest dude that exists. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Alright, so we got... I think, was that two more pieces of evidence? Yep, we just gotta examine the man and the message. Oh my god, it's perfect. Perfect Helvetica. Or wait, fuck, they said what it was. Yeah, Cyber Life Sands. I really wish they did it in Comic Sans. That would have been so funny. Why can we look that far down? All right, we've got his head. We got his nipple. Got to be something like next to his body. Oh, 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 his mustache. Disgusting. It was drugs. You know what? What? Why, Cosmos? Also, eh. Oh. 
fucking uh, actual footage of me when I fucking get you. Me when I fu me when I fucking get you. No. No, Grandy, don't nut on Mr. Ortiz. He's been recently ventilated. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Okay. You're kind of right, though, because it's like, what, 30 stab wounds or something? Wait, was that a spoiler? What? Oh, no, I complete. You're, if you're talking about the $30 for 30 minutes thing, I do not know what you're talking about still, so you are all good. I can take pride in knowing that me and the robot have the same name and it's spelled the correct way. I know a motherfucker who spelled it Connor with a K. Gross. Ew, who does that? It's 194 stab wounds. Wait, no. Is it? I can't even go back, was it? I thought it was like 38. Bro got absolutely ground into beef, if that's the case. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. 194. Shoot, all ears. It all started. <gasps> that's so many. In the kitchen. Also, why not You're go for like the even 200? The question is, what exactly happened here? 194 stab wounds, me after I fucking get you. Oh shit. With the bat. Yeah, it was the bat. Then he grabbed the knife. I didn't hear what he had said. I was I was reading chat. Worst thing you can do in this game is read chat during these dialogue scenes. Victim stabbed the android. No, no, no. Android stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. Checked out the weird effigy? No, I got all the evidence pieces. I don't think we opened the bathroom yet. We had 10 out of 10 evidence, so I think we were not, that, uh, not to that part yet. Lost some what? Ethereum. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. My goodness, poor coin. He fell asleep with his head hanging off the desk. And he does this shit all the time. It just looks so uncomfortable. I feel like if I pick him up, I should just like move him to the, uh, what's it called? I should just move him to the cat bed.
That's so funny. All right, he's not, he just woke up. Poor boy, it looks so, like imagine you sleeping with your head 90 degrees lopsided. It just, I can't imagine he doesn't wake up with a hella crook in his neck. Robots are insane. Uh, you think after the first murder, they'd start having recalls? Yeah, honestly, you really think so. Hey, have a good lurk, Electra, and thank you again for the raid. I really do appreciate that. Hello, friend. I see your red little LED. Let's check the percentages here. Face scan customers. Yeah, no, we just... We already knew where Lieutenant Anderson was, so... Oh, wow, we did a lot. We did everything except for apparently one thing at the crime scene. Also, didn't we originally interrogate this guy? Oh, that's right. We're going to take him to interrogation. That's right. That's right. I wonder what happens if you don't find the deviant. There's a chance that you don't find the deviant. Maybe if you waste too much time. But like, I don't know. I couldn't like leave every time I looked until I found him. You might just have to. Who wants mom's famous Pascetti and meat sauce? There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. You know, it just occurred to me, either she doesn't eat and we waste food, 
or uh oh goodness or uh what was it like sh like how does she process food then i guess right life's funny i lost my job because of androids and i need somebody to take care of this goddamn house what do i do go out and hire a fucking android Joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruin my fucking life. Who, Alice? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. There goes dinner. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. You stay there. We're about to break free. We're about to Detroit. Worse than last time. Not gonna let it get this far. I'm going, I'm grabbing the gun and I'm killing Todd. Here we go, baby. We got the blicky. It's time to get icky. Shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? What? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> oh shit, I fucked up. Oh shit, I fucked up twice. God damn it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're recovering. Give me the gun, girl! Give me the gun! Pizza there? Oh shit, oh shit, I had to tap it. Bro, I am fucking this up. Stop that! Don't hurt her! You do as I say! Hmm. 
motherfucker down. One more in the head for good measure. <laughs> Try reasoning. Oh, I thought I did not uh, see that dad nearly Nearly enough. I think I was just so mad that I left him alive. I think I already made up the mind that he was dying this playthrough <laughs> Thanks for killing dad She should have changed out of the bloody dress. It's true, but I don't... I don't know if we would have had the chance. I think we could just run. For the record, I went there with insane precision. Like, I went there, I got the gun, I shot his ass. There was no meandering. Break programming. Wait. There's an ending where you just sit still and only 3% of people did it. Oh, that's going to suck to get at some point. Forty-five percent of people. Forty-five percent of people grabbed the gun. Get to Alice after Todd. Oh, I see. So you could technically win with that. Threaten with gun. Defend Alice. Kara kills Todd. 41% of people killed Todd. You can stun Todd. Ah, who gives a shit? Oh, wait, we did... Did we do that last time? I think that's what we did, because the other one's locked. Run to the bus. Okay, Kara shot Todd, and I guess the other one's, like, maybe not shooting Todd. Where's the other ending that I got? Kara and Alice fought their way out. That's what it was. No meandering proceeds get ass kicked before shooting. Well, that was mandatory. Meandering means like wandering around and doing stuff that's not on task. Now let's see if we end up fucking this up. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say? Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Man, he a real one. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No. Now this time no, you don't sure defend yourself. <laughs> Feels weird to be told that. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. I don't know. I feel like we should be getting Carl to safety. Out me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. 
Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. I bet he's also on the red ice. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Nope. Nope. Do I have to do this bit? I don't want to, like, turn around and smack him. Okay, do I have any options here? I don't think it's going to give me a way out. Like, I don't know where I went wrong with this. I only responded to him, and then he pushed me, and now... We're here. I can't do anything. Maybe I was supposed to say something else? I mean, <clears throat> all I did was, like, order him to leave. Like, that was it. And you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Carl! No! Carl, no. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. He no. said, Dad. Please. We called him Dad. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? You're shitting me. <sighs> Fucking average cop behavior, I guess. So, so no matter what in that scene, it's a double bad ending. All right, guys. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, wait, check the studio with Carl. Okay, no matter what, you have to confront Leo. So it looks like even if we did the other option, it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I did it right the first time. Anyone, anyone who's like, oh my god, I can't believe you killed Leo. Fuck you, you clearly didn't play the other end, you little piece of shit. Oh, you're so bad for killing Leo. You're so bad for killing Leo. No, fuck you. We killed Carl instead. Is that better? You piece of trash. He was our dad. Leo had it coming. Yeah, I would much rather have that little shit gone. Carl was an infinitely better person. You could have left Carl, that probably would have ended up better. You think I could have, like, just left him with his son and not been present? Huh. Because, like, I don't see that tree here. There's just the two outcomes. Like, this is the whole situation and all the possible branches. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. There's not another ending? Yeah, no, okay, if I have to pick between Carl and Leo... I'm sorry, I think I'd rather break Carl's heart than literally kill him. We're our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. Also, Marcus literally oh. destined to become a martyr no matter what. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make only it talk. boy. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. There is a good boy on the desk. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? You're hey, going to say, look at the uh, set of nodes. Yeah, yeah, there was one. The only other option didn't lead us anywhere different, though. Also, have a good luck, hon. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? What? how long have we been live? Oh, wow, it's almost been three hours. Okay, let me do a quick stretch. All right, I'm back. Let's grill him! detect an instability in your program it can trigger an unpleasant feeling Let no you're caro true that's actually facts my name is connor what about you what's your name You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. If you won't talk, 
I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your biocomponents. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Shit. God damn it, it barely got too high. You leave me no choice. Oh my god, this is such a stupid combination of buttons. Well, I managed to literally max out his stress. That's a high score for me. I had to know. You left me no choice. Can I keep talking to him? I was surprised that I could go back and say anything. Oh shit. It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough. You need to stop that right now. Watch out! Ooh! My God, what the fuck? Man, crack shot, though. How did we stray so far? I, I, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. I really can't believe.
All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. exhausted and it's pouring rain. Can we just stay for a little while? This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do. I mean, at least he was as nice as he could be about it. It'd be really funny if I just decided to like that like just in the back of the car and that's it. Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. Comfort Alice. Where is Alice? Is she over there? What the fuck is Alice? Okay, so she's here. How'd she get all the way over here? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store. Not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. She has no sense of subtlety. That was loud as shit.
You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. <laughs> We're too slick. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. Well, you'll feel better when we have somewhere to sleep, you ungrateful little shit. We needed the money. I had to find a way, Alice. Yeah, we're good. We're good. She doesn't hate me. Like we found a place to stay. Oh, fuck, I forgot. We're not going in? We can't, Alice. They'll never give a room to an android. We have to get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. All right. We're going full crime. Alice is gonna fucking hate us. Oh wait, the door's over here. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Try clothes for Alice. No, it needs to be for me. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. Yeah, we haven't done that yet, though. You know. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. This is going to get me fucking on edge. You know, as much as I, I don't really usually care about being a bad person in video games, some games really make you feel like a shit person. Uh-oh. No, don't pick that up. I'm trying to leave. Oh, the beanie, the beanie was actually really important. I was like, how are they going to let us in? And the answer is they won't see the LED.
Thank God the motel isn't closed. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? We, we, we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Uh-oh. He's really nice, all things considered. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Do you think he believed you? Which one's our room, though? Room 28. I All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Wonder if we'll be accosted by a crackhead in the stairwell. I forgot we were still absolutely strapped. <laughs> Why didn't we just... You know, oh, we could have just robbed him. We had the... <laughs> we should have just used the gun. What's the worst that could have happened, huh? The police? I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. You know, despite being a bit dated, it's actually not a terrible bathroom. Like, the tiling is nice on the walls. he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Is it just me, or together forever? is like Alice a little tone deaf? Forever. 
I don't mean like with her words, but she just sounds flat all the time. I hope we lock the door just to be safe. Fine. Sleep tight, I didn't want to do this last time. I thought it was weird, but if we're trying to be a family or whatever. I don't really know what we can do if we walk away. Let's let's see what happens like if there's other things for us to do. There is. We have two options. We can sleep in the bed or sit in the chair. And uh, I don't know why she wouldn't just use the other bed. So I guess we will just be all like that. All right, there we go. Nice that we got a trophy for that one. Let's check the percentages on this. Also, I see I have like 20,000 points. I wonder what those are for. Talk to Park Dandroid. Oh, we did that last time. So there's definitely more we could have done. Inside parking lot. Yeah, I know we didn't we didn't do the parking lot that time. Yeah, the motel's pretty straightforward if you do that way. It looks like there's two I don't know if those are dead ends or just branches, but I'm sure that you can get caught by that guy. Actually, receptionist is just a straight line, maybe not. It's Maniskis!
place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Okay, I'll find the boat. I remember the first time we saw this, Milo looked at this and said, Hell no. Which, to be fair, someone's either saying hell no or hell yes. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else saw that, but I think his the hole in his eye texture flashed for a second before like his eye just popped into the socket. It was kind of weird. I'll come back if you're not the only one. Or, I mean, I'll come back if you're the only one with a heart. Because, uh, might, uh, might have to be like, oops, let me take these back seas. Okay, so yeah, it just says take. Okay. Oh, hey, this one freshly died. No, nothing for me. Oh, okay, so we got one over here and then one to the right. This camera shake effect is making me dizzy. Thank you. 
No, don't try climbing. Damn it. I mean, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad we failed because I need to get the audio set, the audio processor, which I hope is in here. There we go. Oh, finally. My ears actually do not like that scene at all. I like that that coat was just there. Android begs to die. Oh, no, for me, it, it like wanted to live. Okay, well, we did it. predecessor was unfortunately destroyed yeah you're telling me the new deviants could be unpredictable but it wasn't careful enough 
I hope you won't make the same mistake. Oh, fuck you, Amanda. I don't intend to. I was plenty careful. I just shouldn't have intervened. Its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? He was a giant pussy. It could have killed everyone in the room. The previous Connor should have anticipated the danger. It was a mistake to let an armed policeman so close to the deviant. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. I know she didn't like that, but if she doesn't like the idea of Hank and Connor, then I don't like the idea of her. Disastrous. They're best buddies in my mind. Prototype cyber life has ever created. Like SpongeBob and Squidward. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. Ah, yes, it's this one. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. start investigating so we can socially engineer our friendship with Hank. Oh, 
Oh, we gotta remember to pet Sumo this time through. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. <laughs> oh, Lieutenant geez. was like straight up traumatized. Hank, in my He's like, I shot you get shot last night. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. Lab report says We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to the me? The chief really you know bit your ass off, buddy. Things? Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. It really sucks. You could tell they used to be friends. I'm just going to oh, leave. I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. Doesn't seem like talking to him really yields anything beneficial. But yeah, it seems like they used to be really good friends, and then I guess he just exhausted all his goodwill with the captain. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. <laughs> that little smile. He's trying his hardest. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk? Anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of <laughs> I really energy. like that music. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? 
Sumo. I call him Sumo. It's like such a good, it's like such a good dog name too. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh, fuck, I forgot. All right, fuck it. I don't think I did this one last time. don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Oh, fuck me. I really shouldn't have done that. I was scoring so perfect. I should have just moved on. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Great. Take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. If you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at this. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Alright, I'll chase it. I'm really sad. I was gonna be best friends with Hank, and I messed it up. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. Oh my god. Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I I, 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 I hate it when I think I'm advice, doing something okay? right and then they say some left hook shit like that. I understand you, but you need to fucking get over it. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. Ah, shit. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. I'm really messing Hello, this up Lieutenant? with Hank. I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I wonder how this doesn't end with you getting a lead for Hank, because it seems like that's, yeah, 97%. You really gotta fuck this up to not get a lead out of this.